Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table. Your Beautiful Table is a YouTube channel and a website all about helping you make your tables beautiful. Today we're going to talk about my favorite casual glassware from Duralux, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, thanks for coming on back. Today we're going to talk about my favorite casual glassware from a company called Duralex. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to share with you, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. We're really glad you're here. If you like content about home decor, tabletop decor, table linens, china, glassware, silverware, those kinds of things, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. And stay tuned to the end of the video where you can learn about how you can enter to win free giveaways. So stay tuned to the very end. Well, friends, a couple of weeks ago, I learned that the Williams Sonoma store here in our town was going to close because of the pandemic. A lot of re retail stores are consolidating and, and closing, I guess, less profitable branches. And I'm not surprised because the last time I was in that Williams Sonoma store, A, the service wasn't very friendly, <laughs> but B, they didn't have a lot of stock. And, um, you know, it just wasn't as popular as other Williams Sonoma stores that I've been. So it's not a great loss that that store is closed because we have a local cooking store that I really love that has many of the same brands. So it's probably going to be less competition for our own uh, local cooking store, which is which is all right in my book. But when I was there looking for great deals in the closing sale at Williams Sonoma, I saw Duralux glasses and it reminded me that I was familiar with the brand from trips abroad. So those of us who have, if you've ever traveled abroad, especially to France or maybe to the Middle East, you might be already familiar with the Duralex brand. So the Duralex brand has been around since 1945 and they're really popular. They're, it's a French company and they, they're made in France. And so they've been really popular there for institutional use and cafe use. Around the Middle East, they're actually used to make tea and hot coffee. And so um, they're really uh, pretty common outside of the United States. So it was, uh, it was sort of fun to see the Duralex brand at the Williams-Sonoma store. At the Williams-Sonoma store, the design that they had was a design that is like quintessential for the Duralex brand called Picardi. It's probably their, their most popular design. I'll see if I can find an image of it and put it in uh, to the the video here. But Bacardi uh, is a really popular design. It comes in several different colors, several different sizes. And if you go to the Duralux website, you can see just the assortment of glasses that they make in that uh, Bacardi design. It features like more column shapes with fluted columns on the sides. And it just didn't float our boat, so we were looking for a different design. We ended up, of course, not buying the Duralux glasses from the Williams Sonoma store that day, but it got us thinking that we were in the market for some new glassware. The glassware that I had, it was great. It was from Target. It was you know low cost and had served us well, but over time the glasses had chipped and I really didn't have a full set and uh, some of them had been etched from repeated dishwasher use. So it was time to get um, some new glassware. So it was just sort of like everything coming together at once. So I saw the Duralux uh, uh, at Williams-Sonoma, came home, was like, let's get shopping for some Duralux. And we decided to find, or we decided on these prism uh, glasses that that are from Duralux and we got two different sizes so we got this large tumbler size and we got this smaller size so I'll bring this one up and you'll be able to see that the glass sort of looks like I think it reminds me of like the um, glass panes in a lighthouse so it's actually smooth columns on the outside and inside it's a little bit like crosshatch that you can feel the texture in there but it's not a cut glass it is um, molded so a nice thick base, which helps keep it stable, but the proportions are right. So, you know, uh, when you grip this with your hand, it feels good. It's not too big. It's not too small. It feels nice and stable. Um, and let me show you on the edge there, you can see that the glass is nice and thick. So it's about the same thickness from the bottom of the glass to the top. And that helps, uh, uh, with the durability and uh, you'll also be able to see you know just sort of it adds a little bit of sparkle this prism design and then on the bottom it's got the Duralux brand is uh, there in in the bottom and it says Duralux made in France so one of the cool things about these Duralux glasses is that they're they advertise them as practically indestructible and you can find videos online of people actually like pushing the glass off and letting it drop on the floor now i wouldn't recommend that it is still glass 
but they are super durable and that's what Duralux is known for. So if you have a home that has uh, children or adolescents or teenagers or, you know, folks like me, just clumsy, uh, you might want to consider getting Duralux the next time you need to uh, shop for glassware. The cool thing that I like about this is that we have um, stone countertops. So if you have quartz, marble, uh, or tile countertops that are really like glassware when they drop on them have a tendency to really break, um, you may want to consider Duralux because that will help your glassware stand up to those countertops. You know, some countertops, those stone, look, they look beautiful, but drop a glass on them and it's done. So I haven't tried dropping uh, a glass on our stone uh, countertops, but it uh, would like it's just another layer of protection. If you uh, have those stone stone countertops, you might want to uh, consider the Duralux brand. So they're very familiar, as I mentioned, all across Europe because institutions like schools, cafeterias, and cafes use them. And one of the reasons why they use them is because Duralux is stackable. So the glasses that I got uh, from um, Target, they probably could stack a little bit, but they just didn't feel like they had the robustness to stack. But I don't have any hesitation about stacking these uh, together. So if you don't have a lot of space in your kitchen or don't have a lot of cabinet space to store a lot of glassware, but have people over from time to time, you'll probably want to consider Duralux because it's so easy to stack. Now, these kind of remind me, those of us who grew up in the 80s may remember those Pizza Hut red glasses. So they don't stack as easily as those Pizza Hut red glasses, you know, those plastic cups they just stack 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 you could get them really tall I wouldn't stack them up that tall but you can stack uh, the Duralux glasses and it will um, free up some space in, in the counter and or excuse me in your cabinets and you won't have to worry about it so the way that this glass is heated to a high temperature and the chemical composition help to make it really robust the thickness of the walls make it robust and that's what contributes to it stacking so as I mentioned, we got two sizes, and I think these probably are uh, some of the most popular sizes. Now, the Picardi uh, glassware has several different sizes, so you can get, you know, um, the ones that look more like the shape of, like, beer glasses. And then these, though, we do a lot of iced tea, a lot of iced uh, soda, and so this tumbler was great for our ice drinks, and then this smaller one was good for uh, juices, a little bit of water if you need to take a pill, or a little bit of milk. Uh, before you go to bed. So we have these two sizes and I might get a third that medium size um, but you know generally for our for most of our uses these two uh, glasses are, are going to be the ideal size. I just like this size. Um, it sort of reminded me of those Italian sort of casual wine glasses that you, you might see, you know, just served in a, in a casual cafe. And this one was a little bit more robust, so you could have an ice drink uh, for it. Now, we don't have a, uh, a lot of wine drinkers in my house, but this is why it sort of reminded me of sort of that nostalgic um, sort of Italian or French cafe look. And then this one was perfect for uh, iced tea here in the South. So, um, again, so Duralux, a great brand. It is shatter resistant. It is, uh, I won't say that it is not breakable. I mean, it's still glass, um, but it comes in an assortment of sizes and the Picardi uh, line comes in a variety of colors. This one, the Prism one actually comes in shades of blue. Uh, so if you want to have a little bit of color on your table, you could uh, consider that one. Um, and so Thanks everybody for joining me as I share with you about the Duralux brand and my favorite casual glassware. If you stay tuned to this song, I want to say thanks. And hey, to enter to win free stuff, sign up for our newsletter below. I use it as a mailing list and I send out updates every once in a while. I don't spam you with a lot of stuff, but that's the way I have your name and email address. And so I do random drawings when the YouTube channel hits different milestones and I'll reach out to you and say, hey, I drew your name. Uh, where can I send you free stuff? So... Uh, sign up below, be entered to win free stuff. Thanks everybody for watching about Duralux Glassware and we'll see you next time.